Hi guys, um, my mom and I are currently at Ikea to do some back to college shopping. I'm going to have a private bathroom in my dorm room this year, which means that I need to get some bathroom supplies. Um, and this video is sponsored by Ikea, so they gave me a gift card to shop for all the college dorm essentials that I might need. So we're about to head inside, but my mom's gonna take a picture for me really quick for my thumbnail. It has been forever since I last was in Ikea, um, but the first section that we stepped into was bedrooms. Um, and so I'm actually on the hunt for a plain white colored duvet cover. Um, so hopefully we can find something along those lines here. This is going to be a combination of a shopping vlog and then a dorm haul. Um, so you guys will see a little bit of everything that I pick up from here. Because our bathroom is going to be pretty small this year, I wanted to get something along these lines, um, which is like an above toilet storage. Um, so hopefully we can find this somewhere out on Ikea's floor. Part of the challenge with my dorm room this year is that I know that I'm going to have three closets. Um, not all to myself, Haley and I are going to share, but I don't know how big they are. And so we're just kind of walking through the closet organization section right now to get an idea of um, some of the things that we can use to organize our closets. So we found the duvet covers and I can't decide between this one, which has like a cool white and light gray circle pattern, this one, which is just light gray stripes, and then the other side is this like dark gray material. Um, or I don't know if I want like a plain white one. So, ah, this is so difficult. There's so many choices. <laughs> We're in the bathroom section right now getting the most important things like uh, toilet brushes and uh, bath mats. Right now we're on the hunt for some kind of hook that we can suction cup to the wall to hang our towels on. So hopefully we find something along those lines. I did just ask a worker though where we could find the dorm section and it turns out that it is on the first floor because it's like a seasonal thing. We ended up getting a shopping cart because I was grabbing too much stuff and the bag was feeling a little heavy. So we have made our way downstairs to the first floor and they have a whole dorm section right here behind us. Um, so we're going to walk through here, grab some stuff, and then head into the aisles to get the other things that we need. I decided that I want to get something like this to put in my closet. Um, I'm not really sure how big my closet is going to be just yet, but I feel like this is a pretty standard size to which I can put anything inside. So I'm going to get this like grid thing in white and then I grabbed some gray boxes right here to fold up and put inside just like these ones. We were about to leave when I realized that I never ended up picking up the posters that I found on the IKEA website and really liked. So we are now on the third floor um, where I'm looking through all the posters and I can't find the ones that I want, um, but I am determined. <laughs> I got the poster set that I needed and it actually is super cute. Um, I'll show you guys like the display of the different kinds. So it comes with these four different prints and I just really liked the style and design of them. I think they'll just look really cute um, hung up like with washi tape on our wall. Now I have to go find my mom in the kitchen section because we had to walk through there on our way to decorative prints and I lost her. 
guys, I picked up some kind of rogue cart and it keeps running away from me <laughs> and going in directions that I don't want it to go, so it's super annoying. <laughs> out of Ikea. I checked out with my Ikea gift card and of course we had to pick up some cinnamon buns because honestly an Ikea trip is not complete without them. Um, but we are on our way home right now and the second part of this video is going to be a haul of everything that I picked up here. So keep on watching if you want to see all the things that I got at Ikea. All right, so it is just a few days later and I am finally getting around to filming the haul portion of this video. I'm so excited to show you guys all my Ikea back to college goodies. So without further ado, let's just get on into all the stuff that I picked up the other day at Ikea. So you guys know I was going back and forth about what kind of duvet cover to buy and I ended up getting this one. It is just the um, white and light gray like circle pattern and I just thought it was really simple and cute and this is actually a twin size and normally college bedding runs in twin XL but the duvet insert I currently own is actually a twin size so I just got a twin size duvet cover to match it but anyways I just wanted to switch up my bedding this year and thought that this would be a really cute pattern so the next few things that I picked up are actually bathroom essentials because this year my roommate and I are going to have a private bathroom so that means we had to get like a bath mat, shower curtain, um, shower caddy, you know, all that jazz. So the first thing I picked up was actually this shower curtain and you can't really tell on this picture but it's just like a white and light gray geometric pattern and so I just thought that this was really simple and we couldn't go wrong with plain colors like this. I just got like a dark gray bath mat to match. Um, this one is really soft and pretty large so I hope that it fits in our bathroom because I haven't seen the size of my bathroom just yet which made the dorm shopping a little tricky um, but I have a feeling this will probably fit and that way it can fit both in front of our shower and our sink. So we'll just see how this works out. Um, but I picked up those two things and then you guys also saw me talking about some over the toilet storage Which I ended up picking up but it's wrapped up really nice in this little box and it's also really heavy So I didn't necessarily want to lift it up uh, to show you guys But you can see a picture right here and I showed it earlier when I was vlogging in the IKEA store Pretty much the storage unit will just allow us to have some kind of shelf space to store our bathroom essentials and also cleaning products since we won't have a cleaning lady coming in to clean our communal bathroom anymore. I also picked up this white trash can. Um, it just is one of those like ones that you step on it and then it opens up automatically. And so I just thought that a lidded trash can would be best for the bathroom. And then some other knickknacks that I picked up in the bathroom section was a lint roller. Last year I would steal Haley's lint roller all the time and I felt so bad about it so this year I finally have my own and I also picked up this little like dish washing brush um, and it has a suction cup on the bottom so you can like stand it up straight so this part isn't touching the gross sink and this will just make washing dishes in our sink a little bit easier. I also picked up what I think are suction cup hooks where hopefully we'll be able to take these and suction cup them to the back of our door to hang our towels on. So fingers crossed these are actually suction cup because um, I can't like drill anything into the walls in the dorm room and I don't really know how this would work with a command strip. I also got a fun little toilet brush <laughs> um, just because it's essential in a bathroom and I didn't want to get the white one because I figured that white would just like turn a really nasty color if we ever had to use it and so black would probably just be our best bet even though it doesn't really like match and lastly for our bathroom i picked up this like shower caddy i think it's called pretty much it has a hook that 
will hook on to our shower head. And then Haley and I will just have two little storage baskets to hold our like shampoo bottles, conditioner, body wash, you name it. Before going to the Ikea store, I was checking their website to see if there was anything that interested me on there. And I found this set of four prints. And so uh, this one says dreams and it's just plain white. This one is like a lake or ocean. And then on the back we have a cute little cactus print and this like retro car. I just imagine these looking really cute taped up onto our wall with some washi tape. Um, so I couldn't resist picking these up. And last but not least, I also got this white storage unit that I'm able to put these cloth bins inside. And so they're still wrapped up right now, but once they open up, they just turn into cubes that can go into the storage unit. And I figured that it would be perfect for my closet. This was another one of those things that came in a really big box and I didn't want to unpackage because then it would just make moving into my dorm room a little bit harder. But I did want to tell you guys about a service that Ikea offers called TaskRabbit. TaskRabbit is both a website and an app that you can sign up for and then request for someone to come help you either move your Ikea furniture or build it for you in case you are struggling with the directions. TaskRabbit is pretty much just a platform that offers experts in all different kinds of household necessities. So if you think that you would need help building any Ikea furniture that you buy for your dorm room this year, you can use the link in the description to check out TaskRabbit and see just how helpful they can be in building your Ikea furniture. But anyways, this is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you enjoyed this type of vlog and haul combination. And of course, thank you to Ikea for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to go back to college with Ikea this year and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye!